Walking 10,000 steps burns approximately three to 500 calories for most people, but that range is massive, and here's exactly why. Your calorie burn varies significantly based on your weight, your walking speed, the terrain, whether you're going up steps or not, and even your gender. A 55 kilogram woman walking on flat ground burns far fewer calories than an 85 kilogram man walking uphill. Here are some numbers for average weights walking at normal pace on flat ground. If you weigh 55 kilograms, you burn roughly 300 calories. If you weigh 65 kilograms, you burn 360 calories. 70 kilograms burns 385, and 75 burns 415. And I'll pop more examples on the screen so you can see roughly how much you burn. But would you like to work out your exact number? I'll teach you a quick, simple method now that scientists use called METS, M-E-T-S. It's basically a way to compare how hard different activities are. Every activity has a number. So sitting watching TV is one. Walking at normal speed, that's about five kilometers per hour or three miles per hour, that is 3.5. So running is around eight. So here's the magic formula. Take the activity number, multiply it by your weight in kilograms, multiply that by 0.0175, and then how many minutes you did the activity. So if you weigh 70 kilograms and walk 10,000 steps, which takes about 90 minutes at normal pace, that's 3.5 multiplied by the 70 kilograms, multiplied by 0.0175 times by 90 minutes, and that equals 385 calories. If you're walking uphill, stairs, or a bit faster, let's say six kilometers per hour, use five instead of 3.5. If you're walking more slowly, let's say four kilometers per hour, use three as the activity number. Now, if you wanna make this much easier and calculate your exact calorie burn for any activity without doing the math yourself, I've created a free calculator for calories burned doing different activities, specifically for this video. You just need to enter your weight, select the activity, and it does all the calculations for you. The link is in the description below. But here's why most people are thinking about this completely wrong, and it's actually sabotaging their long-term results. Because thinking about burning off calories is actually a terrible mindset that makes movement and exercise feel like a punishment. When you understand that movement is simply part of your daily energy needs, everything changes about how you approach it and why some people seem to be able to eat much more than you. Here's what's really happening, and it's completely different from what most people think. When you walk those 10,000 steps, you're not burning off calories like paying back a debt. You're creating a daily energy requirement. Think about it like this. Imagine your daily energy needs like a fuel tank. We'll use a glass. Person A lives a sedentary lifestyle. They drive everywhere, sit at a desk all day, spend evenings on the sofa. Their fuel tank might hold 1,400 calories, for example. And that's all their body needs to function with that lifestyle. Anything else spills over and is stored as fat. Now, person B walks regularly, they take the stairs, they move throughout their day. Their fuel tank holds much more, let's say 2,200 calories. Same person, same size potentially, but much different energy capacity. And this is an important bit. When this person and this person eat the same amount of calories, something different happens. As we saw with person A, who has a much smaller fuel tank, they reached their capacity and spilled over into fat much quicker. Person B, who has a much bigger fuel tank and capacity, with the same amount of calories, they actually have a gap. And what this means is that, number one, they can either eat more and still have no effect on their weight, or if they end up eating fewer calories, there's that gap. And we need to fill that gap from somewhere. So if it's not coming from food, it has to come from your fat stores. So you end up burning fat to make up this gap. And so this isn't about burning calories off. It's about expanding your fuel tank through consistent movement. Person B can eat 800 calories more than person A and maintain the exact same weight simply because they've created a higher daily energy requirement. And scientists have a fancy name for all this daily movement. They call it NEAT, N-E-A-T, which stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis. 
Think of this as all the calories you burn just living your life, not at the gym, not formal exercise, but walking around, fidgeting, taking the stairs, doing household tasks. And here's the amazing part. Research shows that this can differ by 800 calories daily between two people of exactly the same size. Now, usually this difference happens unconsciously. Some people just naturally move more. But when you become deliberate about adding movement to your day, you can achieve this same 800 calorie boost. And that's the difference between being able to eat an extra large meal every single day. Think about people you know who seem to have a fast metabolism. They eat plenty, but stay lean. What they actually have is a bigger fuel tank. I bet if you really observe their lifestyle, they're constantly moving. They take the stairs, walk during phone calls, do household tasks at the weekends. Maybe they have an active job. Now, obviously there are exceptions. Some people do seem to stay lean despite being quite sedentary and genetics does play a role. But for the majority of naturally lean people, when you really observe their patterns, you'll notice they move significantly more throughout the day than they realize or you realize. They've unconsciously expanded their calorie tank to over 2,000 calories daily, while someone sedentary might have that much lower 1,400 calorie tank. And this is why consistency matters more than intensity. Walking 6,000 steps every single day maintains a consistently larger fuel tank to, let's say, walking 15,000 steps twice a week and 2,000 steps the other five days. Your body responds to what you do regularly. Consistent daily movement creates a higher calorie need but doing it only occasionally doesn't create that same need. But this raises a crucial question. How do you actually track and achieve this consistency? Most smartphones have built-in step counters that are surprisingly accurate. Check your iPhone health app or Android's Google Fit. The caveat is that your phone needs to be in your pocket or on you to count steps, so you might miss them throughout the day. Smart watches and fitness trackers are obviously more convenient because they're always on your wrist, but phones are definitely good enough to get started. If you don't have any fancy technology, use time blocks instead. Moderate walking covers roughly 100 steps per minute. So 10,000 steps equals around 90 to 100 minutes of walking throughout your day. So maybe break this into chunks. A 20 minute morning walk, 2,000 steps. 30 minutes of lunchtime movement, 3,000 steps. 40 minutes of evening activity, 4,000 steps. Plus remember, apart from this deliberate active movement, you're gonna have steps from your daily life as well. Cleaning your teeth, cleaning the house, just moving around. And the workplace is evolving too. Standing desks with treadmills are becoming popular when working from home. Imagine getting 4,000 steps during your morning emails or Zoom calls. The key is integrating movement into existing activities rather than adding separate exercise time. The easiest steps are the ones that happen whilst you're doing something else. Parking further away, taking phone calls while walking, meeting friends for a walk instead of a sit down coffee. You're not exercising just for the sake of it, you're just choosing the more active option. And these changes can add thousands of steps daily without it feeling like an extra effort. Now here's what everyone really wants to know next. How do I actually know if my fuel tank is expanding? How can you tell if this is working? Well, here's the exciting part. When you start consistently hitting your daily steps, many people begin to lose weight without changing their eating at all. This is your fuel tank working immediately. You're creating a higher energy requirement. So your body starts using stored energy, fat, to meet that demand. You'll notice that your clothes fit differently, jeans feeling looser around the waist, tops not feeling tight across your stomach or arms, bras feeling less restrictive. The scales might show changes, but often the tape measure and how clothes fit are more telling indicators that your fuel tank is growing. And as your fuel tank expands, you'll likely notice more stable energy throughout the day. Instead of afternoon crashes, you'll maintain consistent energy levels. Your mood often improves too. And perhaps the most exciting indicator is when you can eat a bit more without gaining weight. As your movement becomes consistent, many people find they can enjoy larger portions or occasional treats without the scale moving up. You might see a slight increase on the scales the next day, but this is just the weight of the extra food in your digestive system, not fat gain. That's your expanded fuel tank in action. And I'm not encouraging you to suddenly eat loads more food, but when your fuel tank genuinely expands, your body can handle more fuel without storage. It's a natural consequence of consistent movement and not a license to abandon all structure and healthy eating. 
And what's beautiful about this process is that it builds genuine confidence. You're not forcing yourself through restriction. You're actively expanding your capacity. Each day of consistent movement is an investment in a bigger, more flexible fuel tank. And so while yes, 10,000 steps burns roughly three to 500 calories, that's actually the least interesting thing about this. Here's what's even more exciting than losing weight. The research on daily movement and overall health is incredible. Regular walking dramatically improves sleep quality. It boosts mood and mental clarity better than many medications, with studies showing it can be as effective as antidepressants for mild to moderate depression. From a longevity perspective, those 10,000 daily steps could literally add years to your life. Research shows that people who maintain consistent daily movement have significant lower risks of heart disease, diabetes, and even certain cancers. We're not just talking about expanding your fuel tank, we're talking about improving every system in your body. And as a reminder, it doesn't have to be 10,000 steps. Any improvement over what you're already doing will have an impact, whether you go from 2,000 to 4,000 steps daily or 6,000 to 8,000 steps daily. You're still expanding your fuel tank and creating that positive change. And again, if you're curious about how many calories different activities burn, my calculator is in the description below. But remember, the goal isn't to obsess over exact number, it's just to understand how movement contributes to your daily energy needs. So now you understand how to expand your fuel tank through movement and burn more calories. But here's the thing, it doesn't matter how many steps you do if you're struggling with emotional eating. If this is you, watch this video next.